Hey, these are pretty good, man. Little birthday cakes. I like them. How do you like being one? It's a good age. You don't have to deal with anything, really. Hey. Hey. Good morning. We're just talking, and Spike tells me that he wants to start driving. Told him he's okay to take your car, but if he wants to take mine, he's gonna have to learn how to walk first. Mm. What do you think? Um. Good. How how did you? How are you awake? Right now. I mean, did you just sleep last night? I slept some. You slept some. It must be nice. How are you so calm right now? That's what sleep does. What? You should try it sometime. You know what we'll do? We will sing you a lullaby so you can go to sleep and sleep an extra seven hours. You ready? Uh, aren't you rattled at all about Greenlee and what happened with Greenlee last night? After what we've been through, no. Not rattled by it at all. How about you? I don't understand. Where is it written that we're not allowed to have a peaceful, normal life? You don't want a normal life. You'd just be bored by it. And peace is on its way. What are you bound on that for? Well, what, is this your little lullaby that you're going to sing me to get me to go to sleep? It's part of it. I don't sweat Greenlee. You shouldn't either. Well, Greenlee doesn't kill people. But other than that, I wouldn't put anything past her. Neither should you. Excuse me, you cannot go in. Will you explain to this moron who I am? I tried to explain to her that you were not ready to well, see Well, clearly her. you have amnesia or early Alzheimer's. Really, stop. You do not come barging into my office and insult Val or anyone else. It's all right, Val. I uh, will speak to Greenlee. Greenlee, your stepdaughter. For now. I politely asked her to wait in the lounge until I could be sure that you were ready. I and know, I know, Val, believe me. I completely understand. Greenlee has uh, <clears throat> boundary issues. <gasps> so I recall. All right, Greenlee, what can I do for you? Well, it's what I can do for you. I'm extremely busy. Boost your ratings, send them soaring. Ah, and you will do that how? Well, by ignoring your snipe about boundary issues and handing you the story of a life. A New Beginnings expose, how Zack Slater pulled the plug on Pine Valley and smashed hundreds of dreams. You're giving Greenlee too much power. Well, when someone threatens to put my husband behind bars, it, it sort of worries me a little bit. Well, then trust your husband to get rid of the threat. Oh, it's irrelevant. Keep until the end of the day. What are you going to do about Greenlee? Don't get involved. All right, Zach, you're scaring me now. Come on. This battle is between me and Greenlee alone. No, there is no you alone. Oh, yeah, good. You tell him. Whatever happens to you happens to me. You did everything for that woman. Try to give her a baby. All of that out of love. And then I painted you into a corner. So now this is between me and Greenlee. Okay, honey, I love that you want to protect me, but the things that you do, I mean, how far you go. Last time you wanted to protect me from Greenlee, you cut out the whole power grid. Working on it. Zach, I need to know what's in your head. I need to know if you're planning something that extreme. Hello, hello. Oh, Rachel. hi. Look who it is, the Spike man. You better go see your dad. Does he uh, look older to you in any way? Oh, my hours and hours. Yeah, me too. Oh. Come here, Tinker. Oh, God, oh, you're so big. All right. Come here. Oh. All right. Okay. Um, I got to go. I have an appointment. No, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, Rachel. Can you give us a moment, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. All right, Munch. I can't stay. I have an appointment. I'm late already. All right. Well, wait a minute. An appointment with who? I'll meet you for lunch. I'll pick you up. No, no. OK, will you wait? Please, please wait. Honey, I'll see you in a little while. Mm. Oh. Are you silent because you're stunned, or is something else in play? Thank you for your story idea. But it's just not my sort of thing. You're not surprised that Zach caused the blackout. You can't fake it. You knew. 
Greenlee, I think that it is extremely unhealthy to dwell in the past. And especially for someone like you, you have so many grievances. Like everyone else, you let it slide. What is wrong with you people? We've moved on. And I think you should try it. You know, the first step to moving on is placing blame where it belongs. You know, you can blame whomever you wish. But I just will not build an episode of New Beginnings around your bitterness. You know, I can't be the only one. There's got to be other victims. <gasps> ah. Victims? Yeah. People who should have toddlers right now, but don't, because Zach decided to play God. I don't do victims. I really focus on people who have overcome their setbacks, their disappointments. Yes, and handing out free passes to criminals. You used to hate Zach. What changed? Zach and I both love my daughter. So you're glad he pulled the plug. You know, you'd have done it yourself if you'd thought of it first. Okay, I have a lot of work to do. You hated that your daughter was going to be a surrogate for me. Never mind that Kendall wanted to give me a gift. My daughter Kendall was your guardian angel when you were nothing but needy and insatiable. My daughter was willing to give you her precious baby. And how did you repay her? You spit in her face. Why did I even come here? When have you ever supported me? You know something, Greenlee? You're a big girl. You really ought to be supporting yourself. And while you're at it, you need to lose that big chip on your shoulder, that incredible sense of entitlement. Excuse me. Zach. Yeah? You didn't have to treat my daughter like a leper when she showed up at your home with a gift, did you? She didn't come to wish us well. She came on impulse, that's all. What the best impulse No, 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 in the world no, no. She came to make a statement. She doesn't think we're entitled to our lives. And you missed the highlight of the evening. Kendall embraced Greenlee, and she responded by declaring war. I can't let her destroy my family. I'm sure you understand that. Yeah, I understand that. You're not threatening me, are you, Sam? Threatening you? Mm -mm. That's your daughter's department. How late am I? Haven't been keeping track. Are you still recovering from last night? Hello, Fusion. Hi, Mr. Singer. Hi, this is Kendall Hart Slater. Thank you so much for returning our call. Yeah, so we were wondering when we can get the ball rolling with the music. But we have a verbal agreement. Please tell me what I can do to change your mind. I'm sorry, too. Great. Well. So much for our music licensing deal. Bye-bye, hip new campaign. Let me guess. <clears throat> no babe, no music? Yep. Compliments of Greenlee. She hounded babe until she quit. I'm going to kill her. I could kill Greenlee right now. Of, co of course, if, if she had the grace to show up here. But no, of course not. Greenlee's on her way. People are waiting for her in the lounge. What people? Good morning, all. Are Derek and Livia here? In the lounge. Wait, can't. I have to talk to you. Later. No, not later. Now. Well, I'm obviously late for a meeting. Well, cancel it. Why would I want to do that? Because you're making a hideous mistake. I've made a lot of mistakes, but nailing your husband is one of my better moves. No, I'm here to tell you you're wrong. There's no way Zach is going to sit back and let you lock him up. You'd, you'd be an idiot to try. The law is on my side. Greenlee, you are no match for my husband, even with or without legal backup. There is nothing your husband can do to me that he hasn't already done. Don't push him. Or what, he'll assassinate me? Greenlee, none of us will come out ahead. 
If Zack is such a power, you have nothing to worry about. And if he's not all that, well, then I'm not getting hurt. So, yes, someone does come out on top. Please, go home, okay? Go home right, and clear chill, your head. Chill, get a life, calm down. We have a problem. Just deal with it. This is a partner-level problem. We need some leadership here. Clean, discreet, and immediately. I'll be clear. We have a campaign to restore Fusion's image. Yes, and the music, you'll love it. It's cutting edge. Thank you. True, but we do, we'll, we have a whole new concept we're coming up with. Yes, I think that you'll love it. Right, okay, well, I will let you know as soon as we find out, but we're working on it. Okay, I, I gotta, thank you so much. I'll get back to you, bye. Wait, Derek, 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 hello, hello, Derek, Derek! You know how to reach me? Call me when the job is done. Thanks. Well, another distributor bites the dust. Fusion is now synonymous with sudden death. We're gonna need a new warehouse for all of our unsold products. No, we're gonna need a miracle. What we need is a fabulous new ad campaign that screams, Fusion is back. The Satin Slayer did not beat us. Any ideas? Kendall. What do Greenlee and Livia think they're doing in there? Plotting world domination? Junior. What do you want? I want to give you a heads up. But from the look on your face, I guess you heard already. Heard what? The buzzards are circling. They can smell your blood. The buzzards are circling. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to spook me? Just putting you on alert. For flesh-eating birds. All kinds of predators. Some people are saying that the break from your father has made you vulnerable. Some people, some people are wrong. I hope so, man. You know, I'm touched that you care. But I'm surprised. Because not so long ago, you were threatening to kill me for what I did to Kendall. Why the turnaround? Chaos is bad for commerce. I took over Cambia, so uh, I have a vested interest in your survival. Spoken like a pamphlet, right from the Pine Valley Chamber of Commerce. Watch your back. Or not. Up to you. Thank you so much. Health, strength, vitality. That's what we have to combat. Mm -hmm. How about we free associate? Good, good. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So, uh, mm. why don't you join in? Um, stamina. Life. Breath. Mm -hmm. Birth. Um, healthy. Strong. Nourished. Fertile. Fresh. New. Clean. Baby. Here. Listen, Greenlee is, she's on the loose, okay? She's meeting with Derek and Livia. And don't, I don't panic, know everything's gonna be fine. Oh, no, it's not. You're finished, Zach. I'm taking you down. Go ahead. Deny all you want? You're gonna answer for that blackout. I'm not denying anything. Do we have to do? Livia, you are a man on the move. Just spend a little quality time with my man here. Come on in. I'm glad I could pin you down. Yeah. And why'd you need to? <laughs> well, I've been approached about the blackout that happened a year and a half ago. You remember it. Greenlee. Yeah, she claims Zack Slater was behind it, that he confessed to it. But I mean, that's just words unless there's some proof. Is there any? 
You were robbed of a great deal the night your eggs were lost. Lost? Decimated, annihilated, obliterated. All because of me, I understand that. And it must have been terrible for you. Zach wasn't out to hurt you. I can't replace what it took for me, but I want to try and make it up to you. What do you want? I don't know. Do the words chain gang mean anything to you? I'm not leaving Spike. Kendall with a baby. I'll give you anything you need. But I'm not going to destroy my family. So what is it? What do you need? You committed a crime. Criminals don't get to choose the rack, lethal injection, solitary, or hanging. And they certainly don't get to protect their family from the kind of pain you caused your victim. Zach is not a criminal. Let her be. This is how you're dealing with Greenlee? Let her be. Zach, you can't please a woman who's never been satisfied with anything in her entire life. I should know. I want to talk to you. Zach, there's nothing to talk about. There, 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 there's nothing to, to negotiate. She has nothing but hate and anger. Please, please just walk away. Let me talk to Green the alone. Zach, it's not a good idea. Zach. Excuse me. I'd like to use this room. Unless we're interrupting something. Well, this is a new world, isn't it? You being here on behalf of Greenlee, usually she doesn't miss an opportunity to get in my face. It's been very difficult for her. For all of us, yeah, she's made sure of that. Greenlee feels like her life was snatched out from underneath her. I can't entirely blame her for being upset. Yeah. So how did you get involved? Well, I'm not sure I am. I mean, there's not any grounds for a case yet. No, the reason I'm asking is because usually when Greenlee has legal problem, she goes to her dad, so I don't know, maybe Jack realized she was just trying to stir up trouble any way she could and wanted to stay clear of it, you know? That's possible. It's also possible she has a case. She doesn't. You know, that bottle has more of your attention than I do. Can I get you back for a minute? This Zach and the blackout theory is not so new. Erica accused him as much when she was on the witness stand when we were fighting for Kendall's life. And I don't think you even flinched at that bombshell. So you already knew Zach was behind it, huh? No, I was in Canada, actually. I was dead to the world. But Zach was the only one who knew that. He was the only one who could reach you. A dead man is a really great confidant. If you have something you need to confide. And what reason would I have to help Zach? You're holding him. If you want coffee, you might get it from here, because there's kind of crowded. No, I was just actually, I think I lost a button, but I don't know for sure. It's probably, probably over here. Yeah. You admit you caused the power failure. So what, I should thank you for your honesty? I don't expect you to do anything. And now you want to buy me off, shut me up, so you can get back to your perfect, unscathed life. I want to help you. Do you have any spare embryos, or can you pull another Ryan out of your hat? You cost me so much. Not just my child, but my husband. He wanted to die, and you, the big, fat expert, you helped him do it, and you kept it a secret. Ryan came back to you. Yeah, but the damage was done, and it didn't end there. My friend Simone, Ryan's sister, dead. You married Kendall, and your sicko daddy to teach you a lesson killed her friends. My friends. I have lost so much, and it all seems to come back to you. I wish to God you had never come to Pine Valley. That seems to be a majority opinion. I thought it myself. Why are you doing this? Why are you agreeing with me and being nice? I don't want to fight you, Greenlee. I'll help you any way I can. But I'm not going to prison. You've changed since I've been away. What happened? I became a father. You've been hurt. 
Wow. Sympathy, even. Well, I guess I should be glad you're the only person not telling me to move on. Being a father has done this to you? What I do affects people. Spike. Yeah, I saw the way he looked at you when you rocked him to sleep. Squinny, how can I help you move past this? Where are you going with this, Lydia? Well, Zach didn't want Kendall pregnant with your child, and neither did you. I love my son. Of course you do now, but then? Wow. That's a big job, taking out an entire power grid. Take a lot of planning, pinpointing the coordinates. I mean, nobody could do that alone. You'd have to call in experts. Zach knew exactly what he was doing. Kendall, he wanted to make sure that you couldn't carry Greenland and my child. You with me? Yeah, I'm right here. There's a lot to connect the dots. Zach, you, Kendall, baby. From what I hear, not always so easy. Yeah, we made it work, though. It's over, Olivia. It should stay buried for everyone. Even Greenlee? There's a one-year-old child now. And there's a woman who should have a child now. Look what happened. It was a mess. And I am truly sorry that Greenlee got hurt, but I do not regret having my little boy. Pass this. I love how you say it, so easy. You've passed it. The wife, the son, the baby on the way, the dream life. Well, here's the problem. I can't get past it. Nothing you could offer me could possibly replace what you took, unless you can think of another substitute for a child, a husband, a family that I've always dreamed of. Can you? Didn't think so. So that's why I jumped to justice. Putting you in prison is not the perfect substitute, but it's one that I can live with. I won't let you punish me by hurting my family. Your family. That's what I want. A family. I want to turn back the clock. I want to be with Ryan. I want to have Ryan's baby. Can you do that, Zach? You're right. I can't turn back the clock. Is there something I can do for you? You want to bribe me to get me to shut up and go away. Don't you go ahead, Zach. Go ahead and turn back the clock. Maybe if Greenlee time traveled back to the good old days, where we wrung ourselves inside out to make her happy, she'd remember. No matter what we did, it was never enough. Your husband's really changed. Apparently, you did that. Family. All his concern, his generosity. Well, it smells like damage control. So are you going to offer me anything? How desperate are you to save your man? As desperate as I was to save you when you needed it. What do you think, Greenlee? Will sending me to prison get you what you want? You can't send Zach to prison. He committed a crime. Spend all the money you want, Greenlee. Hire a hundred lawyers. It won't make a difference. You still don't have any proof. Fine. He'd get off. And I'd be exactly where I am now. You won't get your revenge, but you still have your future. 
Think about what you really want, and I'll help you get it. You have my word. Okay. Well, I do need something. Actually done it, Zach. You got through to her, didn't you? And this whole thing might be over. Whatever Green Leader signs, I still owe her. Oh, what's this? Take your husband's to work day? I'm not going to be part of your plan, Greenlee. No matter what I know, you can't use me against my son's stepfather. What do you know? Forget it, Greenlee, because I have. I am going to keep this family together, even if I have to perjure myself to do that. 